this is a simple subtraction calculator, I guess you could call it, a difference finder calculator, um, written in assembly. Specifically, it's written in MASMA, the uh, assembly language for the x86 processor, and I am using the uh, Irvine library, Irvine 32, I'm including that. So again, all I'm focused on here is subtraction. If you want addition, I did a video on that as well. So here is dot data. Now an assembly and under dot data is where you're going to declare and define variables. Notice that I'm using the byte uh, keyword here for all of my strings, right? Byte. And byte actually represents eight bits in the programming language. Uh, D word, which I use for number one, number two, and, num and total, which are all going to be variables, um, and they're going to be numbers. Uh, D word represents 32 bytes, or 32 bits, uh, as it were, because it stands for double word, that meaning a single word is 16 bits, but regardless, D word is 32. And so here's where we're going to use uh, variables to represent numbers. All of these are just strings to get data from the user. So now that I have those declared, um, I'm going to, well, let me show you what this does. I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and debug and start without debugging. And let's type in a number, um, 24, and then I'm going to take away 18 from that. And 24 minus 18 is 6, obviously. Ta-da! So how it's doing this. Now we got our variables declared. Now this is going to be the executable cart part of our code in main, right? So under dot code, we are going to move things in and out of the registers constantly. So out output uh, the title maybe output the title and author. Now I'm going to move the code title, which is this thing, math magic, to the edx registrar. Uh, offset is a way just to get the specific, the exact um, location of it. Uh, you will need that for moving these strings out into the different registers. So the edx register. Now I'm going to call write string, and that's what's going to put the code title to the council. And then I'm going to call crlf, which is carriage return line, oof, I should know this, uh, carriage return line feed is what that actually stands for. Anyways, it makes a new line. All right, now we're going to go ahead and prompt the user. Notice again, we're going to use offset to get this specific address to get grab our string and to put our string into the edx register. Once we've moved the string, this is always the target. This is always the source. So we take this string and then we put it here at the target. Right, we're targeting it towards here. So now once we got our prompt one string, which is first number there, we're going to go ahead and write that string to the console. Now after that, we're going to call read int. And that's because we are now waiting for the user to enter a value. Once the user has entered an integer, we're going to go ahead and use move num1. And that's the variable I declared up here, num1 d word. Um, we're going to use num1. And we're going to take whatever's in the EAX register and put that into num1. And we're using the EAX register because read int automatically does. So whatever we you, whatever read int grabs that the user inputted, it is put in the EAX register. And now we're saying, hey, EAX register, whatever you are, go ahead and we're going to target that information. Um, and we're going to use the source. This is going to be the source of our information. And then the num1 is the target. We're pushing it off towards here. Okay. And now we have that within num1. We're doing something very similar, obviously, for the second number offset. We're going to prompt for the second number. We're going to write the string. Writing give us that second number. We're going to write to read it. Once we do read it, it's going to go into the EAX register. So then we're going to instruct to move the EAX value into num2. And then add, oops, that was for my last one. This is subtract. Subtract the two numbers. And how we're doing that is using move. We're moving num1 to our EAX register. Then we're going to use sub, which is for subtract. And what we're saying here is subtract whatever's in the EAX register, right? Take away num2. So num2 is being subtracted from whatever's in EAX. Well, what's in EAX? We just put num1 there. 
So then once we have done this, we are going to go ahead and move out our variable total and we're going to use whatever's in the EAX register, which is where the result will be, because we moved it number one into here, and then we subtracted from EAX. Whatever's in EAX, we're going to move to total. So total now holds that value. Now, um, keep in mind, this actually won't work if the subtracted amount is larger than uh, the other number, right? It won't do negative numbers yet. We're not quite that complicated yet. We'll get there. Print the total number to the council, move EAX num1. So this is again, now we're just grabbing all of that stuff that we are already did. That num1 variable, we're putting it in the EAX register. We're writing it out as the decimal because if we do write int, a addition sign appears in front of it. It looks sloppy. So we're doing write decimal. And then we're going to move um, using offset for our string, our minus sign. Oop, and I need to paste this here. We're going to use our minus sign, uh, and we're going to move that to the EDX register. We're going to write that little string, right? So minus up here. We're going to write that out. And then we're going to print the second number by moving it to EAX right, using write decimal again. We're going to use offset again for our strings, use equals, uh, and then move our equals string to the EDX register and write out that string. Finally, we're going to use total. We're going to move that to EAX. We're going to write it out as a decimal. And then we're going to do two uh, carriage return line feeds, which is just two blank lines, and the end. So I will be posting this in the description just to demonstrate it one more time. But ah, uh, uh, 154 minus 81. But ah, uh, math is amazing. Anyways, check it out. It will be posted in the description below.